The local offer is a website um, for parents, carers, young people uh, and children to find services for support or activities, clubs, groups for children with additional needs and disabilities. The local offer has been developed in conjunction with parents, the Parent Carer Forum, with schools and with young people. So it's a joint effort. The best way is to involve people. That's what's expected of us, that we work with, with uh, parents um, and young people. I think because we're the ones who are going to be using it, that's important that we can like, see it from our own perspective and like, look at the type of language they use, the sort of pictures and see if we can like, really see ourselves using that. We've had already a lot of reactions from from children, for example, who have looked at trial versions of the website. Sometimes they haven't been quite right. We've taken on board their comments and that's working really well for us. We came in um, when they first decided to redesign. We looked at logos of other ones um, and we also looked at the different send websites that were available in different counties. And then we looked at mobile compatibility and how easy it was to kind of look around and also things like um, how it might affect people with learning difficulties. Being part of the Parent Carer Forum, um, gave us the insight into other parents' views and what we needed within Bedborough for our children and families. Um, so we got involved in this project so that our voices was heard and it was made so that it was parent, parent and carer friendly. You know, when you go to the doctor and it, it, the doctor diagnoses someone with, let's say, autism for argument's sake, and the doctor will turn around and say, yes, you've got your diagnosis, um, there you go. And there's no one actually signed by you saying, well, actually, if you need something, you need to go here, here and here. And that's where the local offer comes in, where you just go on their website, have a look, and anything you're looking for, literally anything, is on there. And if it's not, if you just speak to them, they'll, they, can, they can find it for you. The local offer, they showed me, the, it has helped me to know where to take my son. Being here for just two years, not knowing where to take him, but seeing this now, I've known where to take him to. It's, so it's brilliant. I, uh, it's what I've been looking for. Yeah. The, um, compared to the old local offer, the new one is a lot more user friendly. Um, it's uh, it looks like a much nicer website to look at. It's much easier to search for things that you need to find. Um, to find a service on the website, it's really easy. There's different age range tabs, so you can filter services through age range. I think it starts from zero all the way up to 25. So you can, it can actually walk the path with you, so it should be able to, that you can dip in and out of it and use it from play groups all the way up to trying to find um, employment or voluntary work in later stages. Um, you can also type in keywords to, into the search bar to find services that might match what, you, what you're looking for. There is also a what's on section where you can find out about upcoming events and the sort of activities happening in the upcoming months. It's very easy to use, so anybody that's not um, very IT um, literate, if you like, um, it is very easy to, to use, very accessible. You can make bigger text, you can change the languages, you can change the background colour, all that kind of stuff is really helpful and opens it to a wider audience in terms of you know, special educational needs. If you get stuck on the website, don't worry about it. We've got a dedicated local offer person who's a very friendly person called Sersha who works at Para Hall. She's there to help you and of course you can always go to your Senko at your school. I would recommend the local offer to people. Um, it's really good to find out things that you wouldn't otherwise know about um, for your children. There's so much on offer in the local area and it's the best place to find out about it. I think this site will be um, something that we can really use in Bedborough and it will help um, a lot of families out there that are trying to find their way through this, this maze that you send. This project isn't finished by any means. We're hoping it'll, it'll keep evolving and we would really appreciate your help and your suggestions about anything that you think can be improved. So do keep in contact, do, do let us know and we'll hope to continue to improve this for you.